take your seats, please. I'm Kalen Saima. God is good. And all the time. There's a move to Jindy Johnson. And first, I just wish to acknowledge the leadership, the leadership of our church. Pastor Munyumbwe, Pastor Mowimi, all our leaders, thank you for being available. Thank you for providing leadership to our people in this church, through the church. I want to acknowledge the presence of the ministers that may be here, members of parliament, our mayor, other civic leaders. And truly, all of our leaders in our communities. I want to acknowledge the farmers my fellow farmers, for feeding the nation. When the population is family, the population hasn't fed. Mwane, the message you gave us, wonderful message of love, part of our demonstration of love, to take care of our families, to make sure our families have eaten. So thank you to the farmers. Many years back, farming was seen as a lesser activity, dirty activity. Your government today is sending the message in a different way, flipping the message say the call of a farmer amongst obviously leading the way is the spirituality godliness following Christ's ways no question about it that family has the faith and I want to encourage the citizens of Zambi, even pastors, that produce something. Even choir members produce something. When the family produces something for itself and then excess for those that can't farm, because there are some workers, but they will do other things. then the nation will be saved. Those who can farm, who can produce food, do something else. Roof this church. When the church is looking for a carpet, be there. Do something. Yes, that the past the country was flipping off, getting to a point where I said it yesterday, that Zambians wanted to live a good life, but they don't want to work. How is it possible? I ask myself, when we know Jesus, man, one man, I'm going to a man. How is it that people want to live a higher standard of living, but they don't want to work? And all they are doing is TikTok, TikTok, <laughs> social media, insults, disrespect. Look at the message we received today. Fronting love. So, 
past the President Munyongwe and the team and our church and the Board of Trust as a whole, we would like this country to tilt and veer back to what is normal. To bring back normalcy to the country. And what was abnormal was beginning to look normal. And what is normal is now being frowned upon. Please continue preaching. The message we got today, Mwane, Chamwanda Mwane, Kalunga Milan, what we say we in the Lubale group. Chamwanda. Zambiwe to a Muyula to Pashima. Engaman. I was seated here and said, what will I say to this beautiful group? I chose to focus on this few words. God made us in his own image. He himself does want us to emulate him. As we love each other, we must also work hard. Himbo? I was clear, those who don't want to work must also not eat. And I think it's the literal meaning of that. Bibles exudes parables, but this one is the literal meaning. Self-control, excessive of anything is very bad. And you have no energy to do what is right for society. It's my message. 2023 20, is gone. Tomorrow is the last day. So we look to 2024, to enter 2024 with the right attitude, the right mindset. Ah, supporting each other. Who can be a better preacher? Who can be a better preacher than the one who delivered the message today? When I started in that, oh, you got to <laughs> Wonderful message. Start the year, the new year, with a positive mind. Helping hand. We are all beneficiaries of someone's help along the way. With an attitude for the young people to achieve in the right way. Not shortcuts. I want to wish the church well, our church well. The reorganization, Pastor Munyumbe, you announced today, welcome, truly welcome. We want to congratulate the new officers. Pastor Mugin, congratulations. And your team, together with your team, and the other team. I'm Seve Zerevan too. As we go to one two, at one very great level, let's work and support our leadership. As the communities need to support each other, we as the servants, the servants that you chose to work for the new, for me as chief servant, we will do our best, not just our best, our very best, to save this country which we inherited in a great difficulty. And we've dedicated 2024 to opening up the economy. Agriculture. Worried about grains. But we want to water harvest. We want to dance so we can irrigate. So we can feed our people. Agricultural credit. All of those issues. This continues, but agricultural credit at a lower cost 
ابن سی با سپس از یو هیت We close the very difficult transactions in the year. That's why I came slightly late. I was meant to have come a week earlier in Germany. But I stayed back to conclude the transaction on Casey in the mines. It's done now. Mopani mine? It's done now. Guansha mine? It's done now. So the copper belt can return to life. All these challenges we inherited. But through God's love, God's Cheers. Kindness on us. We as these vessels who do our best. We are aware of the challenges people face, but we ask God to give us wisdom. As He gave wisdom, Solomon on the horse. So we ask God for His wisdom. He give us good help, all of us. We should work for them. We want to see a better country, better than how we found it. Thank you to the choir. Pastor Mouin was posturing that Thomas Central Choir is better. <laughs> he was posturing. Monze, choir, basically. Pastor Mouin was saying, I quiet, right? <laughs> but for me, I say thank you to all the choirs. I'm not competing with him. I know why he's saying that. He also knows why I'm saying that. I already thank our brother the message he delivered. Wonderful message. Extremely wonderful message. Unparalleled message. What a message as you end it. Great. We heard you loud and clear, man. Tuam man. Loud and clear. It's our duty to pass this message to others, but first to internalize it ourselves. To ask God that I want to be the first one, one of the first ones. Shamuaz. Shamuaz, man.
So, uh, you know when we say that because it's our elder in this case, so feel free and be comfortable as we, uh, at this particular time, Mr. President, we just want to appreciate your coming as a church. We have uh, a small token of appreciation for your coming. I will invite the people that uh, are supposed to do that to please come forward. Thank you so much. Uh, 